Imagine a man who was given visions of the end from the beginning. Imagine a man who was taken up to heaven and was shown everything. Imagine a man in whom the fallen angels begged to intercede for them after they rebelled against the Most High. Imagine a man who was shown the most detailed account of Yahusha, the Son of Man, the King of Kings, the Holy One of Yahuwah. Imagine a man who has instructions for you, the last generation. This is Enoch, and the book he wrote for us, and the video you are about to watch lays out the directives he was given directly from Yahuwah to you. Welcome to part three and the final of this series. If you have not watched parts one and two prior to this, I implore you to do so, as they establish a few things. That this book is from the Holy Spirit. That our Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, quoted from it and taught from it. That this book was directly written for our generation. And most importantly, in the end of part one and throughout part two, we discuss the instructions that Enoch was given that was directly for our time frame right now. Hallelujah. A link for both will be in the description box below, and one should actually be flashing above as well. So, on to part three, as we pick up right where we left off in Enoch chapter 98 and continuing our instructions for the last generation. Here a warning to the unbelievers and to the believers alike, who do not believe they need to keep our Father's eternal laws, precepts, and commands. And do not think in your spirit nor say in your heart that ye do not know, that ye do not see, that every sin is every day recorded in heaven in the presence of the Most High. Woe to you who love the deeds of unrighteousness! Wherefore do ye hope for good hap unto yourselves? Know that ye shall be delivered into the hands of the righteous, and they shall cut off your necks and slay you, and have no mercy upon you. Woe to you who rejoice in the tribulation of the righteous, for no grave shall be dug for you. Woe to you who said it not the words of the righteous, for ye shall have no hope of life. Woe to you who write down lying and godless words, for they write down their lies that men may hear them and act godlessly towards their neighbor. Therefore they shall have no peace, but die a sudden death. Woe to them who pervert the words of uprightness and transgress the eternal law. Just like our Savior Yahusha spoke to us. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Brothers and sisters, Yahuwah's law is eternal. We in this generation inherited lies told for many years. But praise Yahuwah for pouring out wisdom and his spirit amongst us so that we can see the truth of obedience to him. This is his grace and the power of his spirit. Hallelujah. Next, we see more context of the days we are living in. In those days, make ready, ye righteous, to raise your prayers as a memorial, and place them as a testimony before the angels, that they may place the sin of the sinners for a memorial before the Most High. In those days, the nations shall be stirred up, and the families of the nations shall arise on the day of destruction. 
And in those days, the destitute shall go forth and carry off their children, and they shall abandon them, so that their children shall perish through them. Yea, they shall abandon their children that are still sucklings, and not return to them, and shall have no pity on their beloved ones. And again, I swear to you, you sinners, that sin is prepared for a day of unceasing bloodshed. And they who worship stones, and grave images of gold, and silver, and wood, and stone, and clay, and those who worship impure spirits and demons and all kinds of idols not according to knowledge shall get no manner of help from them, and they shall become godless by the reason of their folly of their hearts, and their eyes shall be blinded through the fear of their hearts and through visions in their dreams. Brothers and sisters, one can't help but think of Luke 21, 25 through 28. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then Look up and lift your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. It's time to look up, brothers and sisters. But in those days, blessed are all they who accept the words of wisdom and understand them, and observe the paths of the Most High, and walk in the path of His righteousness, and become not godless with the godless, for they shall be saved. Brothers and sisters, just like Revelation 1, verse 3, blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Next, another strong warning. Woe to them who reject the measure and eternal heritage of their fathers, and whose souls follow after idols, for they shall have no rest. Interestingly, Revelation, the last book, pulls directly from this next chapter, chapter 100, as you are about to witness. And in those days, in one place, the fathers together with their sons shall be smitten, and brothers one with another shall fall in death, till the streams flow with their blood. For a man shall not withhold his hand from slaying his sons and his sons' sons, and the sinner shall not withhold his hand from his honored brother. From dawn till sunset they shall slay one another, and the horse shall walk up in the breast in the blood of sinners, and the chariot shall be submerged to its height. In those days the angels shall descend into the secret places and gather together into one place all those who brought down sin. And the Most High will arise on that day of judgment to execute great judgment amongst the sinners. And over all the righteous and holy, he will appoint guardians from amongst the holy angels to guard them as an apple of an eye until he makes an end of all wickedness and sin. And though the righteous sleep a long sleep, they have not to fear. And then the children of the earth shall see the wise in security and shall understand all the words of this book and recognize that their riches shall not be able to save them in the overthrow of their sins. Yes, brothers and sisters, we will be dwelling in the land of inheritance soon enough in security. For any who may be confused at this point, saying, Aren't we the church which is different than Israel? And isn't Israel that land already established with the Jews in 1948? For this, I point you to a few videos for your edification and instruction. Pause this video if need be to search this matter out first 
then return. In short, we who believe in Yahusha have been grafted into the olive tree that is Israel. Those who do not believe have been broken off. See Galatians 3 and Romans 11 for the clearest picture of this. The fear of Yahuwah is the beginning of knowledge. We seem to be living in a day where not only the unbelievers say, we can do as we will, without condemnation. However, even our own, who say they believe, also proclaim the same. How can this be? Enoch 101 Observe the heavens, ye children of heaven, and every work of the Most High, and fear ye him, and work no evil in his presence. If he closes the windows of heaven and withholds the rain and the dew from descending on the earth on your account, what will you do then? And if he sends his anger upon you because of your deeds, ye cannot petition him, for ye spake proud and insolent words against his righteousness, speaking against his law. Now, therefore, I swear unto you, the righteous, by the glory of the great and honored and mighty one in dominion, and by his greatness, I swear to you, I know a mystery, and have read the heavenly tablets, and have seen the holy books, and have found written therein and inscribed regarding them, that all goodness and joy and glory are prepared for them, and written down for the spirits of those who died in righteousness and that manifold good shall be given to you in recompense for your labors, and that your lot is abundantly beyond the lot of the living. And the spirits of you who have died in righteousness shall live and rejoice, and their spirits shall not perish, nor their memorial from before the face of the Great One. Unto all the generations of the world, wherefore, no longer fear their contumely. Woe to you, ye sinners, when ye have died, if ye die in the wealth of your sins, and those who are like you, saying regarding you, Blessed are the sinners, they have seen all their days, and how they have died in prosperity and in wealth, and have not seen tribulation or murder in their life. And they have died in honor, and judgment has not been executed on them during their life. Know ye that their souls will be made to descend into Sheol, and they shall be wretched in their great tribulation and into darkness and chains and in burning flame where there is grievous judgment shall your spirits enter. And the great judgment shall be for all generations of the world. Woe to you, for ye shall have no peace. Say not in regard to the righteous and good who are in life. In our troubled days we have toiled laboriously and experienced every trouble and met with much evil and been consumed and have become few and our spirits small. And we have been destroyed and have not found any to help us even with a word, we have been tortured and destroyed, and not hope to see life from day to day. We hope to be the head and have become the tail. We have toiled laboriously and had no satisfaction in our toil. We have become the food of the sinners and the unrighteous, and they have laid their yoke heavily upon us. They have had dominion over us that hated us and smote us, and to those that hated us we have bowed our necks, but they pity us not. We desired to get away from them, that we might escape and be at rest, but found no place whereunto we should flee and be safe from them. And are complained to the rulers in our tribulation, and cried out against those who devoured us, but they did not attend to our cries, and would not hearken to our voice. And they helped those who robbed us and devoured us, and those who made us few, and they concealed their oppression, and they did not remove from us the yoke of those that devoured us, and dispersed us, and murdered us, and they concealed their murder, and remembered not that they had lifted up their hand against us. I swear unto you that in heaven the angels will remember you for good before the splendor of Yahuwah, the Great One. And your name shall be written before the splendor of Yahuwah, the Great One. Be hopeful, because formerly you have pined away through evil and toil, but now you shall shine like the lights of heaven, and you shall be seen, and the windows of heaven shall be opened for you. Your cry shall be heard. Cry for judgment, and it shall appear for you. For all your tribulation shall be demanded for investigation from the responsible authorities, from everyone who assisted those who plundered you. 
Be hopeful and do not abandon your hope because there shall be a fire for you. You are about to be making a great rejoicing like the angels of heaven. You shall not have to hide on the day of great judgment, and you shall not be found as the sinners, but the eternal judgment shall be far away from you for all the generations of the world. Now fear not, righteous ones. When you see the sinners waxing strong and flourishing, do not be partners with them, but keep far away from those who lean onto their own injustice. For you are to be partners with the good-hearted people of heaven. Now you sinners, even if you say, All of our sins shall not be investigated or written down. Nevertheless, all your sins are being written down every day. So now I show unto you that light and darkness, as well as day and night, witness all your sins. Do not become wicked in your hearts, or lie, or alter the words of a just verdict, or utter falsehood against the words of Yahuwah the Great, the Kodesh One. Or give praise to your idols, for all your lies and all your wickedness are not for righteousness, but for great sin. And now I know this mystery. For they, the sinners, shall alter the just verdict, and many sinners will take it to heart. They will speak evil words and lie. They will invent fictitious stories and write out my scriptures on the basis of their own words. And would that they had written down all the words truthfully on the basis of their own speech and neither alter nor take away from my words all which I testified to them from the beginning. Again, know another mystery, that to the righteous and the wise shall be given the scriptures of joy for truth and great wisdom so to them shall be given the scriptures, and they shall believe them and be glad in them, and all the righteous ones who learn from them the ways of truth shall rejoice. In those days, he says, Yahuwah will be patient and cause the children of the earth to hear. Reveal it to them with your wisdom, for you are their guides, and you are a reward upon the whole earth. Until I and my son are united with them forever in the upright paths in their lifetime, and there shall be shalom for you. Rejoice, you children of truth. Amen. And the last chapter of Enoch, 107. And I saw written on them that generation upon generation shall transgress, till a generation of righteousness arises, and transgression is destroyed, and sin passes away from the earth, and all manner of good comes upon it. Brothers and sisters, I know that this was a lot. A lot to take in and I pray that you test these things I pray that you ask Heavenly Father to show you these things if anything was confusing to you brothers and sisters we are here at the end we are told to watch we are told to wait are told to obey. Another book which Enoch wrote for his son Methuselah and for those who will come after him and keep the law in the last days. Ye who have done good shall wait for those days till an end is made of those who work evil, and an end of the might of the transgressors. And wait ye indeed till sin has passed away, 
for their names shall be blotted out from the book of life and out of the holy books, and their seed shall be destroyed forever, and their spirits shall be slain, and they shall cry and make lamentation in a place that is a chaotic wilderness, and in the fire they shall burn, for there is no earth there. And I saw there something like an invisible cloud, for by reason of its depth I could not look over it, and I saw a flame of fire blazing brightly, and things like shiny mountains circling and sweeping to and fro. And I asked one of the holy angels who was with me, and said unto him, What is this shining thing? For it is not a heaven, but only the flame of a blazing fire, and the voice of weeping and crying and lamentation and strong pain. And he said unto me, This place which thou seest, here are cast the spirits of sinners and blasphemers, and of those who work wickedness, and of those who pervert everything that the Lord hath spoken through the mouth of the prophets, even the things that shall be. For some of them are written and inscribed above in heaven, in order that the angels may read them, and know that which shall befall the sinners, and the spirits of the humble, and of those who have afflicted their bodies, and have been recompensed by God. And of those who have been put to shame by wicked men, who love God, and loved neither gold nor silver, nor any of the good things which are in the world, but gave over their bodies to torture, who, since they came into being, long not after earthly food, but regarded everything as a passing breath, and lived accordingly. And the Lord tried them much, and their spirits were found pure, so that they should bless his name. And all the blessings destined for them I have recounted in the books, and he hath assigned them their recompense, because they have been found to be such as loved heaven more than their life in the world. And they were trodden under foot of wicked men, and experienced abuse and reviling from them, and were put to shame, yet they blessed me. And now I will summon the spirits of the good who belong to the generation of light, and I will transform those who were born in darkness, who in the flesh were not recompensed with such honor as their faithfulness deserved. And I will bring forth in shining light those who have loved my holy name, and I will seat each on the throne of his honor, and they shall be resplendent for times without number, for righteousness is the judgment of God. For to the faithful he will give faithfulness, and the habitation of upright paths. And they shall see those who were born in darkness led into darkness, while the righteous shall be resplendent. And the sinners shall cry aloud and see them resplendent, and they indeed will go where the days and seasons are prescribed for them. May we be found obedient when the good master comes. May we be found faithful when Yahusha comes back.